this is Gentle Whispering, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I take care of my nails on a daily basis. Um, we're going to start with my little box here. Right here. Which is, which has most of my, um, most of my mostly used nail polishes in them. And just things that I use on a daily basis. Um, nail polish remover, um, some of my tools here, my vitamins, um, my foot scrub, and my um, foot cream. Um, this is actually the nail polish that I used in my um, feet video. <laughs> in um, the video with my feet in, that's the, it still doesn't have a name, but I don't see the name of it. And where is that? Um, this one is the most asked about <laughs> a nail polish, which is number 17 Platinum by Sally Hansen from Diamond Strength Collection. And that's the one that I used in my page turning for uh, a 1K plan video. And since in the in some of the latest ones too, I'm not sure which one. Anyway. Let me put it in. And let's start right away. Now, I use vitamins on my fingernails and on my toenails daily. I apply them once a day, usually before night or in the morning whenever I have more time. I have two types of these. I'm sorry. The first one is my the best one ever, which is this one. It's called Vita Sure by Sally Hansen, and it's a growth gel. It's a green one if you're gonna buy it. There's a second one, which is not so good. I'm never getting this one again. Um, which is also by Sally Hansen, and it's Nail Growth Miracle Serum. Um, let me start chewing on the candy. I'm chewing, but it's not good on. Just to add the texture to the video. This should like really not be in the video, right? Okay, let's start right away. As you can tell, I don't have that much of this one because it's actually my fourth bottle in two months. I will still try to get some of it out of it. You basically just need to apply a thin layer on each nail. Just like that. It's like a jello type of um gel. <laughs> Let me apply the second one on the second hand. And this is one of the reasons why I don't like this one. It's because of this thing. How am I supposed to apply it evenly, you know? This one you just put it all over your nail. This one you have to like put it drop and then massage it in. I don't like that. And I have to put like this on every nail. You might hear some snoring sounds from my dog in the background. I really apologize for that. And now I'm gonna massage it into my nail bed. This video is going to be very boring and very long, <laughs> just because my nail care usually takes some time. Now when this part already um, dissolved a little bit, you just need to massage the rest of it in. You can, you can touch your skin around, it doesn't matter. It's basically just um, like a 
gel with the jello in it with gelatin actually which is very good for your skin for your nails and for your hair if you didn't know jello is very good for you <laughs> well not not really the jello but the, the one that has most of the gelatin in it same way with the bones that's why they tell you that it's good to boil um, meat with the bone in it because it has this um, vitamin that you need for your skin to be healthy now usually it would take um, for it to completely dissolve on my fingers about I'd say maybe 3-5 minutes but I will have to remove it right now I do realize it's mostly for the girls video okay now the next step that I usually apply is my oil cuticle oil that I would put on all fingers and then massage it in um, just like the way I just show you with the vitamins unfortunately I'm afraid it's gonna take me forever to do it I'm not sure if I should do it Okay, I will do it, but I'll remove it just like this. Simply apply a small drop at the base of your nail, at the cuticle part. And then you massage it in. You massage it all over your nail, on your cuticle here, and into your finger too. This way it really penetrates your skin around your finger and helps you um, get rid of any dry skin around it too. Plus it's a good moisturizer, it's oil, <laughs> as long as you don't touch your face with it. Because it will make it uh, break out. But mostly you need to concentrate on the cuticle part. like that and on the other hand oh jeez put too much of it just like this and same way dissolve into your hand, into your nails and fingernails. This is very good for your nails. Oils are very, very good. It makes your, even the nails you can tell right now that it's already looking healthy. <laughs> even though I didn't even let it, um, you know, go through my, my nails properly. And this is something that I do on a daily basis. Um, I have a bottle at home and at my work and I usually, when I have nothing to do, yes, I will have to wipe it off too now. I forgot to push my cuticles. I need to find my little tool. And I can't find it. Anyway, I usually would also um, push my cuticles with um, with a special metal stick <laughs> to make my nails look longer. But I'm sure everybody knows how to do that. And why you do it? You basically need to do it to make your 
and your nails. Grow longer because this way you, you push it away from the nails and it's not stopping the nail from growing faster. So this is it. So the next step, the secret thing that I do to make my nails look like it has glass on top of it. I'm sure you can tell it's not really, I don't have any acrylic nails or anything like that. I applied these two, um, I choose one day to put one or the other, or both. This is a, um, thicken up, um, what is it, strengthening nail thickener by Sally Hansen. It's really good. And this is my second bottle. Uh, you basically put one layer every day and it just creates like a layer on your nails it makes your nail like double in size maybe even triple it the more you put it the you know the thicker nail you'll get or this one which is not really properly used by me <laughs> because this is really a quick dry top coat but because of its consistency it's like when you put it on it puts on like gel, like very thick, like it, it puts like um, like like glass on top of your nail or something. And this way it looks really cool because I usually put that one on top of my nail polish already, but I won't do it today. That one is the one that creates the illusion of glass on your nail. This one just thickens it up. Okay, so right now I'm just gonna put the strengthener on my nail. This is my base coat. It's gonna be a little bit tricky for me to show you how I do it and actually do it. You know, for me to see it properly. That was my dog, I'm sorry. So I have my toothpicks here. Sorry. Which I use to like um, wipe off any excess. <laughs> I know it sounds weird. Because I didn't remove the all of the oils from my nail, it's gonna bubble up now. Maybe just a little bit. looks much better. So yeah, I just popped the bubbles. Move that to the side. Sometimes I go over the ridges because I'm not good at this. <laughs> but I wipe it off with either toothpick or I just take a Q-tip like this dip it into the nail polish remover and just go around it around the nail to remove any excess so I hope this is not really boring I'm sure it is, but I got so many questions about my nails, like the most asked question after the question of what my husband thinks about this video. <laughs> Sorry about that. But that's the truth though. Right? I hate this finger. I hate this nail. Because it's like, I don't like the shape of it. 
broke this finger when I was a kid and now it's like all messed up I think I actually broke a lot of things when I was a kid <laughs> I mean my nose is broken uh, twice I mean I'm not gonna tell you the whole story but the first time I, I broke it myself I hit the well, I fell in front of the in front of my school I was running, and I was in the first grade, and I was ri racing a girl or something, and right in front of the, uh, of the high school, right, right at the door, I fell, and I hit my nose right on the, <laughs> on the door, so I broke my nose, it was fun, I didn't go to school for like a month or and the second time, somebody helped me. Oh, in two places. It was not a fight. I'm not gonna talk about it right now, but it happened, unfortunately. Okay. Alright. And I put pretty thick layers right now, too. I don't know if you can tell already, but you can, I think, if you look closer, you can actually tell that my nails already look a little bit thicker. Because they added like a layer to it, which I freaking love so much. Okay, so, it was a very long video, I'm sorry. See you in the second part once this one dries out. Okay? Alright, see you later. Bye bye.